Well, welcome back to the homestead. In the last two episodes, we were working on laying the floor in the uh, kitchen and the living room. And uh, we finished the flooring here in the kitchen and we've almost finished the flooring there in the living room. We still have this uh, one little strip up here that we have to finish out. And uh, we're gonna try and get that finished up today and we're gonna try and make some headway on the flooring in there in the master bedroom as well. But when I came out to the site this morning, the, that, the site was all junked up and I took a little bit of time to go ahead and get it cleaned back up. When I did that, I put all of the boards that we had tried to lay down and found some kind of damage on them and we couldn't use them out in the middle of the floor. I put all of those over in a pile and then I took that pile up, up to the chop saw. And I went ahead and I cut any of the damage that was in those boards out. I threw the damaged part over on the scrap pile to be burned. And then uh, what was left will either have a tongue or a groove on the end of it. And depending on which way your row is going, those boards can either start a row or finish a row. But they're not good to be used in the middle of a row unless you're going to take a router and uh, replace the tongue or groove that got cut off. I don't have the bits for that and I'm not taking the time to do that. So we're going to <clears throat> use these for starters and enders. Uh, and what I did was once I had all the damage cut out, the rows that I'm starting uh, here at this wall, I need a tongue that faces out that direction. So any of these boards that still had a tongue on one end of them, I put in a pile over here. Now I know I can grab any board out of this pile to start a row. And then the opposite uh, boards that had the grooves left on them will be in the other room where the rows are ending and I can just grab those to finish a row out. That'll make it easier than coming to a, a new pile and grabbing a board and, and cutting a good board to make a starter or ender for each row. So hopefully that'll speed up my selection process and reduce the amount of waste that I have. But uh, that's my game plan anyway. So let's go ahead and get started on laying the flooring here in the uh, living room. And we're gonna lay those rows all the way through to the master bedroom until we get to the uh, opposite side of this threshold. Once we finish this threshold, then we'll just focus on the boards here in the living room until it's done. And then we'll jump over to the master bedroom. So let's go ahead and get started on it.
All right, so I had hoped to be able to finish this room out uh, in this video, but I didn't quite make it. I've got uh, 16 inches that I've still got to do on that side of the room, and I've got about 19 inches on this side of the room. So that comes out to roughly 15 more rows, and uh, I'm just not going to be able to do that in this video. So that'll be the next video. We'll finish this room out, and then we'll move into the master vanity area and get started on it. So until next time, y'all just keep checking back.